Hey, Javier. Hello, Arthur. Everything good? I guess. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. Girl. Where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. Oof. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Hit a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem. Eventually, it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, now, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Everybody. Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. 
I'm being careful. Okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then if you asked me. Hold up. Let me check this. Continues along the shore here. So you were saying? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Hey, what is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was really... Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Carry on along this trail. Back to what I was talking about. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year ago. He did. And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Easy. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Whoa!
Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. I see three coming this way. You get the hell away from him. Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Like it. Come on. You look some pain there. It's okay. <laughs> Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld? Money? Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Bam ist klar. Bam Bam Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! It'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Uh, <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, 
I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine. For now. Yep. Should buy us a bit of time, I hope. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, Uncle. Another new market for you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, indeed. And away from Valentine. Not that far away. All right, well, I should be getting on. Thanks very much, Arthur. Ignore that. I don't pretend ignorance. I know it's just what you mean. And I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow... You've summarized how I feel. It, it seems awful. And then it seems the same as always. And then it, it seems like there's just no other way. And I, I just... Listen, we got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. Huh. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. What do you think, Arthur? I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. <sighs> you behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> Here's some of that burdock root you wanted. Oh, you actually... Well, thank you. This will make a good batch, all right. Okay. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up a moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. not smell of campfire again. Hey, I think it's in our skin now. You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, 
Everything okay? Here we are. Yeah. Another day older. Apart from Mrs. Adler's constant like complaining. Well, <laughs> can't do much about that. Okay, well, let's talk more later. You okay, Sadie? I'm no damn kitchen maid. Pearson's driving me crazy. Well, we all gotta pitch in. Well, I should get back to it. You hey, right, Micah. Can't believe we're running away from Cornwall. What's happened to us? It was time to move. Bill! How you still got ten fingers is Micah? a miracle. You joining us? Think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? Sure. Well, here we are, Tilly. Moved again. That's the way it goes. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. You must be nervous, being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> I'm just looking out for you. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yep. You going to get up? What's going on? Ah, it's nothing. You're interrupting my beauty rest. Just to get back into Valentine and collect on those sheep. What? That wasn't too smart. It was fun. I'll put your share in your wallet. Okay. Thanks. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, then. You okay? Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Bad enough to need to move, that's for sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later.